Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and it's time for another Breakfast with Blaha. And today, I'm going to chat with you guys about why a lot of novice lifters don't make any real gains. Why they stall really early on. And this is something I've observed just looking both online, looking in person, and uh, with my own clients. Because, you know, I always mention to you guys, hey, I have X number of clients, but what I don't always tell you, and it should be obvious, I have a pretty high turnover. Meaning, yeah, I get quite a few advanced lifters who come to me, or intermediates who stay on for a long time, but I also get a lot of novices who apply. I coach them one, two, maybe three months, and then they go back to doing their thing once they realize that they can make some gains. Um, because, again, they were completely stuck. Completely stuck as novices. And I mean stuck as rank novices. I'm talking guys never got to the one plate per side bench, never got past the 200 squat, anything like that while trying to run novice programs. And in some cases worse than that. You know, literally guys who have a 120 pound bench have a 150 pound squat and they've been running uh, various novice programs for six months, a year, a year and a half. Now, a lot of people are going to say that's crazy. There's no way they're not making gains. Uh, you'd be surprised. You'd be surprised how many people I get who come in and apply, coach them for a couple months, and they start making gains who are in those positions. Uh, it's a lot more common than you would think. And they're, and they're always then come back and say, oh, I must have terrible genetics. And what have I told you guys about that in the past? Telling yourself that actually ruins your ability to make gains. Don't ever let anyone tell you you don't have good genetics. Don't ever say that you don't. It will predispose you to failure. And there's, there's data on that. There's scientific studies looking at that. It will actually make it harder for you to get gains as soon as you accept that label. So, what did I see them doing wrong? A couple of things. Number one, they're scared to eat. They're scared to gain weight. Number two, their form is so atrocious that they simply are unable to load it, right? The form is so bad they can't load the big movements. And if you can't progress on the big movements because you're bleeding so much energy that you can't really get load on the muscles that you want, then that's, that's what's going to happen. So number one, let's talk about the food. They simply don't eat enough. They do not eat enough. If you're a novice, unless you are fat already, you're going to have to gain weight. Now, the guys who are fat already don't ever have this problem because they can usually diet and make crazy gains, right? There's been plenty. There were guys who ran my novice program when I first put the first one out. We were putting up logs online because there were a bunch of them back, back then. Everyone was, was putting online logs on forums. There were guys who were fat who, you know, went from 300 pounds all the way down to 220, right? They lost 80 pounds in a year and ended up squatting 365 for five reps, benching 245 for five reps at the end of, like my freed five by five, right? While losing 80 pounds of body weight. But they're already pre-bulked and they finished it weighing 220, right? And they're still not lean. That's different. Totally different. When you have guys who are at a lower body weight, look, if you're average height and you're 150 pounds, I don't care how skinny fat you think you are, you will have to gain weight. You're going to have to gain weight to gain muscle, right? And I've seen ones who started skinny fat, tried to run some of these programs and cut. I've had at least a couple of those clients who ended up being so frail and weak that they were basically weaker than where a lot of people start their first day in the gym while trying to run these programs. So, you know, you would look at that and say, look, if you're skinny fat and you want to get leaner, go ahead and cut first if you need to. But you're just going to be a toothpick. And you're going to be benching 100 pounds when you're done. All right? You're going to have a one rep max of 100, 105 pounds. You're going to be able to squat 95 pounds. You'll be able to deadlift one plate per side. That's what I've seen happen with some of these guys too. But you have to eat. You're going to have to gain weight. If you are not willing to gain weight, you're not going to gain muscle. And forget this whole thing of, of lean bulking. Maybe for some rank novices they can do it. 
Some rank novices can pull it off, but it's going to be harder. And it doesn't last long. Going to have to bulk. And that means that scale is going to need to go up a minimum of two pounds a month. Right? And if it's not, that's why you're not gaining strength and muscle. I mean, that's, that's straightforward. If you're a novice lifter, we're saying, look, in a perfect environment, a novice can gain up to two pounds of muscle per month in a perfect environment. That means you're going to have to gain two or more pounds of body weight because a perfect environment means enough surplus to gain fat. The only guys who are gaining two pounds of muscle per month are the ones who are gaining three pounds of body weight on really good programming. That's, that's the only people doing that. But if you want to gain those sort of gains, the scale is going to have to go up. You're not going to do it while staying at your current weight. Biggest mistake I see. Number two, their form is so bad that they don't know how bad their form is. They've never filmed themselves. And it's like, it should be, some of this should almost be common sense because I tell everyone out there, film your lifts, film your lifts, film your lifts, film your lifts. Right? Film your lifts. Look at them. If you lay down on the bench press and your feet are dancing around, right? You already know you don't know how to bench press. You're not following any of the basic tutorials I or anyone else have given. You go to bench press, if your wrists are cocked so far back that the bar is sitting up here in your hand, you're bleeding so much energy and all you're doing is just destroying your shoulders, you can't get stronger on the bench, it's harder. Because everything hurts all the time and you have inefficient, you know, moment arms and everything. You're bleeding energy everywhere. It's hard to load it. Okay, if you can't load anything, you're not going to get stronger. On your squats, if you're hunched forward like this, your whole upper back is rounded forward and you're looking between your feet. You're looking, you're looking at your dick, basically, while you're squatting. That's why your squat's not going up. Okay. You need to actually have your chest up, shoulder blades retracted down, elbows not way up in the air, chicken wing behind you. Chest should be up. If you choose to look down, which I think is stupid, you better have the chest up still. You better have your chest up. Same thing when they deadlift. It's like a fishing pole. They roll completely over the bar. They deadlift, they just completely round the lower back. They roll their pelvis forward so that they're just, they're getting the, like a fishing pole. They completely cat back it with the bar six feet in front of their knee. Not six feet, six inches instead of up against the shin. That bar should at most be no more than one inch from your ankle. Okay, when you start. One to two inches maybe, depending upon your, your leverages. Again, chest should be up. Shouldn't be rolled forward. But they pull like that, and then they wonder why they can't get any load on the bar. And then they wonder why they're not getting bigger. These whole combinations of things make your lift so inefficient that you're going to struggle to load the primary movers. And if you're not able to load anything, well, you're not getting training stimulus. All right? But they don't bother to learn basic form. They don't ever film themselves and say, you know what, I bet my form probably really sucks. And then film themselves. And a lot of times when they film themselves, they don't even see what the problems are. Because they haven't thought through those things or looked at any basic tutorials. They haven't looked at any basic tutorials, read anything about how to squat, bench, deadlift, any of these lifts. Even overhead pressing. Right? So their form is so terrible they can't load. That combination, those two things right there, that is what keeps novices from making gains. Fear of gaining weight, form so bad that they can't actually load anything. That's it. All right, guys, well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.